Let us see the next question. At the end of the August, an Indian company, an exporter, has an export exposure of 5 lakhs Hong Kong dollar due at the end of the September. Hong Kong dollar is not directly quoted against Indian rupees. The current spot rates are 70 rupees per US dollar and 2.3 Hong Kong dollar per dollar. It is estimated that Hong Kong dollar will depreciate to 2.5 Hong Kong dollar per dollar and Indian rupee will depreciate to that is against dollar to rupees 71 that is 71 rupees per dollar. One month forward exchange rate at the time at the end of the August are 2.45 Hong Kong dollar per dollar and 71.04 rupees per dollar. Calculate A question expected loss if hedging is not done. B question how position will change company taking the forward cover? Then second part of the question. If spot exchange rate on 30th of September are eventually 2.52 Hong Kong dollar per dollar and 71.88 rupees per United States dollar is the decision to take forward cover justified? That is the question. That is the way question number 1A, 1B and second part of the question is given. I want you to write and that is do answer for 1A and 1B and put your answer in the chat box. So let us make the calculation of the answer. Dear students over here importantly, they are required to make the computation of the rupees per Hong Kong dollar rates. So over here, working note number one, calculation of exchange rate for rupees per Hong Kong dollar and in this calculation, we will take US dollar as a common currency. So over here we understand rupees per Hong Kong dollar is the exchange rate One Hong Kong dollar is equal to how much rupees? That is a question. For rupees is final answer. Answer is required for Hong Kong dollar. Against Hong Kong dollar, dollar currency is given. And against dollar currency, rupee currency is given. That is the way we can form the equation. As per the given information, We have been provided with the information about the spot exchange rates. Then we have been provided with the estimated spot exchange rate and we have been given the forward exchange rates. So let us make calculation one by one. First of all, we are making calculation of spot exchange rate. Spot exchange rate is provided to us as 70 rupees per dollar and 2.3 Hong Kong dollar per dollar. This is provided to us. Now I want rupees per dollar. I have been given rupees per dollar. So I will keep 70 itself. I want dollar per Hong Kong dollar. But Hong Kong dollar per dollar is given. So I have to make it a reciprocal. So 1 divided by 2.30. So we understand 70 divided by 2.3. That comes to 30.4348. Rupees per Hong Kong dollar. This is the spot exchange rate. Next is the expected spot exchange rate
in that information is given that the Hong Kong dollar will depreciate to 2.5. Okay, so 2.5 Hong Kong dollar per dollar and Indian rupee will depreciate to 71. 71 rupees per dollar. The equation is of course going to remain same. So it is 71 into 1 divided by 2.5 into 1 because the answer is required for Hong Kong dollar. So 71 upon 2.5 is 28.4. Rupees per Hong Kong dollar. And the last one is the forward exchange rate. As far as the forward exchange rate is concerned, it is 71.04 into 1 divided by 2.45. Into 1. So 71.04 divided by 2.45. So 28.9959. Again, rupees per Hong Kong dollar. This is the way we are required to make the computation of the exchange rates. Okay. Working note number 2. Calculation of amount of rupees in equivalent 5 lakhs Hong Kong dollar because that is the consideration. So using the spot exchange rate it is 30.4348 30.4348 into 5 lakhs. That is 152.174 lakhs. Okay. Next is expected spot exchange rate. In that case, it is 28.4 again into 5 lakhs. Twenty-eight point four into 5, 142 lakhs. Next is expected spot exchange, sorry, forward exchange rate. In that case, it is 28.9959 into 5 lakhs. One forty four point nine seven nine five lakhs. So this is the amount which we are going to receive say as per the different exchange rate okay now the important point of the question starts we can see that say using the expected spot exchange rate if at all you will make a comparison with the spot there is a loss and again say using the forward exchange rate again there is a loss we can say that say the kind of the amount of expected losses difference of this two so we can write answer like this Expected loss if hedging is not done is rupees ten point one seven four lakhs. How this is calculated? One fifty two point. 174 lakhs 
minus 142 lakhs. We understand that this expected loss can be reduced comma by entering into forward contract full stop it can be reduced to rupees 152.174 minus 144.9795 so 7.1945 lakhs In bracket, I am writing 152.174 lakhs minus 144.9795 lakhs. Of course, we understand that so the expected loss, which is 10.174 lakhs, is reduced to this amount. So the forward contract should be entered upon. Over here the question says that calculate the expected loss. That is what we have done. How the position will change by taking the forward contract. With paragraph write down. Based on above working comma we can surely recommend the company comma that it should enter in forward contract This is the way we are required to take the decision. Now second part of the question is new question in comparison to the questions that we did earlier. The question says that say on 30th of September if actually the exchange rates are this then in that case whether our decision is justified or not that is a question. Let us understand that say how to give answer for the second part of the question. I request all of you to write down answer along with me. Second question in that working note number one calculation of actual spot exchange rate on 30th of September. We understand that say the rupee spot dollar dollar per Hong Kong dollar into Hong Kong dollar. This is the equation which we already have formed earlier. The actual spot exchange rate is given 71.88 rupees per dollar and 1 divided by 2.52 dollar per Singapore dollar. So 71.88 upon 2.52 so 28.5238 rupees per Hong Kong dollar. This is the way we will have the actual exchange rate. Working note number two. Calculation of amount receivable using actual spot exchange rate. We understand that so the exchange rate into consideration. Exchange rate is twenty-eight point 
फाइव टू थ्री एट मल्टीप्लाई विथ फाइव लैक्स दैट इज वन फोर्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स वन नाइन लैक्स so this is the amount that say you are going to receive considering that you will receive if at all you would not have entered into the farmer contract now we understand like this calculation of the profit or loss if forward contract would not have been entered upon in that we understand so the amount using spot exchange rate at the end of august minus amount using spot exchange rate on 30th of september so friends we understand using the spot exchange rate we already have calculated the amount of the consideration in rupees term 152.174 lakhs minus 142.619 lakhs So it is nine point triple five lakhs. Okay. What do we understand? We understand that say, if at all we would not have entered into the forward contract, this is the amount of the loss that we would have incurred. However, since we have entered into the forward contract, we have incurred the loss of only. Seven lakh nineteen thousand four hundred fifty. So by entering into the forward contract, we have taken correct decision, and our decision of entering into the forward contract proves to be justified. This is the way we are required to write the answer. Please write down the final answer. Decision of company. comma for entering into forward contract proves to be correct because by entering in forward contract comma loss is only rupees 7.1945 lakhs comma otherwise it would have been rupees 9.55 lakhs this is the way we are required to write the answer so let us have a kind of final summary of the entire question the question is providing the information that so there is an indian company So, which has exported goods, and it is going to receive the consideration in foreign currency, that is Hong Kong dollar currency. 
the question is providing the information that so you are required to compute the expected loss. So basically what we have done, we have made the calculation of the spot exchange rate and we have compared the same with the expected spot exchange rate. We understand that say 30.4348 minus 28.4. So there is a loss of 2 rupee 3 paise something. So into 5 lakhs. So we are having expected loss of 10 lakh 17,400 taking into account the exchange rate difference. As far as the forward exchange rate is concerned, it is provided to us. The question provides that say what is the amount of the expected loss if the forward contract is entered upon. Then we understand that say it is 30.4348 minus 28.9959. So loss would be 1.4389 into 5 lakhs. So the loss can be reduced to 7,19,450. So definitely we should enter into the forward contract. That is what we understand. Second part of the question says that say, if at all actually the exchange rates are like this, then in that case, whether your decision of entering into the forward contract proved justified or not, so we made the computation of the actual exchange rate. Again we understand spot exchange rate is 30.4348 minus actual spot exchange rate is 28.5238 so loss of 1.911 into 5 lakhs. So the amount of the loss that would have been without entering into the forward contract would be 9,55,500 but we are fortunate that so the amount of the loss has restricted to 7,19,500 this is the way we have done answer. There is a query the query is like this that sir in order to give answer for the second part of the question can I make a comparison of this exchange rate 28.5238 with the forward exchange rate that is 28.9949 because we understand that say actually we are receiving the consideration that is we are converting the consideration at 28.9959 instead of 28.5238 so we are benefited with 47.21 paise into 5 lakhs. So we are having a kind of benefit of 2,36,050 and of course if at all we compute the difference of this two, it would be exactly this only 2,36,050 that is 9.55 minus 7.1945 yes it comes to exactly that amount. Now friends over here the kind of suggested answer given by the institute for these kind of questions where the questions are having say initially expected loss to be calculated later on you are having say the expected loss to be covered up by entering into the forward contract and then evaluation the institute is providing the suggested answer like this only they do not allow us to make a comparison directly so from examination point of view in spite of the fact that say you are going to reach to the same conclusion that say entering into the forward contract proves to be beneficial or not your conclusion is going to remain same yet you are required to give this presentation wherein you are required to make a comparison of the actual spot exchange rate with the spot exchange rate when the contract was entered upon you make a comparison and you compute that say what is the amount of the profit or loss and amount of the profit or loss for entering into the forward contract and then you make a comparison. This is the kind of answer that say they are expecting. So we don't have a choice but to write this kind of answer only. Friends, I would like to refer one of the question of the institute publication to give you a kind of idea. Uh, I am reading this question number 23. It is from the institute publication. A company is considering hedging its foreign exchange risk. It has made a purchase on 1st of July 2016 
for which it has to make payment of $60,000 on 31st of December 2016. So there is a time gap of six months and you are required to make the payment in foreign currency. Spot rate is given and it can buy a forward contract at the rate of 64. The company will have to make an upfront premium of 2% of the forward amount purchased. So we understand it is 64 into 2 percentage that comes to 1 rupee 28 paise is the amount of the premium. The cost of the funds to the company is 12 percentage. So this 1 rupee 28 paise has an opportunity cost of 12 percent into 1 by 2 that comes to 7.68 paise. So effectively the cost is 1.3568. In the following situations, compute the profit or loss the company will make if it hedges its risk with the exchange, that is with the, it hedges, if it hedges its foreign exchange risk with the exchange rate on 31st of December as like the different spot exchange rates are given to us. Here is the answer. So 1.3568 plus 64. So we can say 65.3566 is the effective rate. Now when the exchange rate is 68, then 68 minus this, you are benefited by 2.6432 into amount was I think 60,000. So 158,592. That is the answer which you can see over here and so on further answers are there. See, I don't think that say, doing answer is something difficult for any of you. What I want to tell you is that say, this is again a question from the institute publication only wherein the institute allows you to make a direct comparison. The question that say, we were re recently say understanding in this question they have started the question with the expected loss. So later on whenever they have asked that say, you are required to evaluate then this is the kind of presentation that say, they are expecting from us. So I focus or I stick to this presentation from examination point of view.